Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Yasmin. Today is part two of the video I posted yesterday, The Hand. Um, I am going in with this X-Acto knife kit. So basically, uh, I got this idea. I actually thought of the idea first, and then I went on YouTube, as we all do, to research to see if anybody had done it. And uh, one of my favorite nail channels, uh, nail personalities, whatever you want to call um, them, uh, Kirsten Mickian from Nail Nails, she actually did this about three years ago. Um, I'm not sure if she ever really used her hand in any of her videos, but she did uh, test this out. And it was perfect for me because I was uh, able to execute this first time without any mishaps uh, because of her video. So in this video, as you see here, I am going in with an X-Acto knife, knife kit I ordered on Amazon, and I'm going to create a channel in these nails. Um, I already had started making the channels, but I didn't have X-Acto knives. I just had like this really big, uh, bulky construction um, razor blade, and that was just really bulky, and it was kind of damaging it, so I stopped and I ordered these X-Acto knives. So here I was using some tweezers to pick out some of the silicone that I was removing with the X-Acto knife and I'm using my cuticle pusher to see how far and how deep the channels are. Um, in hindsight, looking at this, I would definitely have ordered those knife gloves uh, so I don't slice up my hand. I did cut myself just a little bit, nothing too crazy. But the silicone is pretty sturdy, um, so it wasn't an issue with me slicing through. You just have to be very, very careful. This is sped up, so it looks a lot more aggressive. But I promise you, I was being very careful um, and very gentle. Um, and yes, I promise you this will pay off. In my last video, I know I had mentioned it was about $100, uh, give or take. It was actually cheaper. I had forgot to mention I actually ordered two of the silicone refill kits from Kona Willy, Um, and that's why it was about 75 but if you order one, one is enough for a half hand, which I have here. Um, and I know it's common practice in the nail community when people do sets on um, practice hands, they typically don't do the thumb. So you can definitely probably get away with, you know, maybe even doing a full like four finger hand. Uh, with one refill kit. So again, you're going to see me go in here soon with the cuticle pusher and check the depth. Um, and I'm using the cuticle pusher because it's not sharp, it's blunted at the end. So it's if I'm checking the depth as I'm pushing in like a nail tip or something, it's not going to slice through the cuticle or bust through the silicone um, of the hand. So that's why I was using the cuticle pusher. I don't want to bust through the channel that I'm creating. Um, the next one that I'm going to make, I don't think I'm going to take off the nail bed. I think I'm just going to channel it. 
because the one thing I will say about this method is it does make a space between the fake nail and the actual nail bed, but I'm going to remedy that by just using a nail stand putty uh, and that adheres to the silicone and it'll adhere to the plastic tip and just create a little bit more stability but I'm telling you I stuck those fake nails in and they are really stable so if you are you know a nail tech or an aspiring nail tech or a nail enthusiast or anything like you just want this I don't know why you would want it or you would just use it as a display hand definitely I really highly encourage you guys to do this um this project for me was just something to kind of make my channel a little bit more me aesthetically I am a very strange being <laughs> if uh for those of you who know they know but I just wanted um something that is a reflection of me I wanted like a hand that isn't like everybody else's and in this day and age you kind of really have to think about how you're going to set yourself aside from everybody else and what everybody else is doing so you know the creative process is a steep hill and I found out very quickly in this uh, endeavor that just because you think you have a unique idea does not mean that it's unique. It just means that, you know, you're on the same creative wavelength as maybe, you know, hundreds of other people. And this is nothing new, um, but I am glad to say I'm the second person to have executed it. And thank you again to Kirsten Mickian for, you know, paving the way because that really helped me um, kind of with all the hiccups that could occur. So once I'm happy with the look and the depth, I get out these just gel nail tips. I've used them before in another video. And um, I like these because they are skinny and they have like a nice shape and they're very sturdy. Uh, and you can trim these to any length you want. Um, I know it's common practice to have, you know, another nail, but you can definitely trim these down to like regular nail size. And as you can see, the gapping between the actual nail plate, quote fingers around nail plates, not real nail plate, and the fake nail tip, uh, that's what I'm gonna use that museum adhesive for. But I'm also squeezing the sides of the finger. Uh, that helps the nail tip go in a lot easier than just stabbing it in. Um, and I forgot where I saw that tips. Uh, but that was a tip that was given by another nail tech who um, was showing how to care for silicone hands. But yes, my loves, that's pretty much it. This was a pretty quick and easy way to get a practice hand without breaking the bank. Um, it it would be nice to be able to afford a two hundred plus dollar hand, but your girl, your girl can't afford that. So you know, it's Navi Creations for a reason. That's what I do. I create, I craft, and I execute. So you know, the pinky she's looking a little struggle bus, but I accidentally sliced um, that one, but she works fine. Uh, again, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate your support, your love, and everything. Besitos until next week. You want me to get it for you? I got you, babe.